G'day, my name is Brendan Glanville. I'm the co-writer and director of Get Lucky, a play that will be showing at the Melbourne Fringe Theatre Festival and the Revolt uh, space at Kensington. Today, I've got Matt Peacock, who plays the lead protagonist of the storyline Get Lucky as Brian. Desperation, pure desperation, because we needed a tall person because the, of the space, and Matt was the tallest. We lined them all up, and uh, can't act for shit. But no, only kidding, only kidding. Um, uh, through the Australian Acting Academy, I had seen Matt and been impressed with his work before, and I just went, well, I just think he could carry it off. I think he could carry the the lead role. But I must say, from the sellout show that we ran in Brisbane. Uh, Matt's done an absolutely fantastic job and I think we worked out he gets about one minute off stage for the entire play. Um, you know, the ch changes are lightning. This play is that fast-paced play and I think that um, that he's well and truly proved himself and maybe is even grateful now <laughs> that he's, that he's we'll got see. the role. Well, as Brandon just said, um, I thought it was just a bit of a... I think pussy is probably the best adjective, but probably just because it's so close to my actual life and I didn't want to admit that, I didn't want to play a character that was so close yeah, to But me. then once we kind of slowly got to rewrite him a bit as an ensemble, I began to really like him and he became a very good main character, so then I became extremely grateful that I got that opportunity. They'll definitely empathise with him, uh, they'll want him to win, so they'll watch his journey of being like nobody and walked over, to actually getting some self-esteem and some drive. and. I think that the other thing with the character of Brian is that what we've experienced audiences feel is they love him. But I think they, that as, as Matt was saying, they really root for him, they really want him to win. And you've got to just give the, the guy points for tenacity because he just doesn't give up. The things that, you'll have to come and see the play, but the things that he has to go through to try and find some sort of a semblance of peace in his life and to, to gain his, his ultimate goal is horrendous. Yet he doesn't give up, and I always think that's what they walk away with. I love being a part of this cast. Like, everyone's got this burning desire to be in this industry, and to not have one person drag the team down is not very motivated or goal oriented. It has been amazing. Like the friendships that we've made, just the, the work ethic, we all support each other to, to work hard and, and, and be on time for every rehearsal. Yeah. And it's been yeah. <laughs> I think that um, it's been a great ride and um, I think that, that that'll be obvious when people come and have a look at it. So I'll take away obviously a lot of enjoyment because it's extremely funny, which is what keeps people engaged, but the actual drama side, the serious side, they'll learn from it. It's quite moral. Mm. I think it's got heart. Definitely. That's the big thing. It's funny. <laughs> People will laugh, but they, it's a very, it's crude. Um, you know, we go, to, we go to taboo places that I don't think have been done on many stages in Australia, and, um, and yet people still love the characters because they've got such heart. So thanks, Matt. And I would say to you guys that if you're in the lookout for a funny play at the Melbourne Fringe Festival, then come and see Get Lucky. It's at the Revolt Theatre Space at Kensington, and you can book online at the Fringe. And uh, it's, a, it's a very short play in that it goes from eight, uh, 7 to 8 p.m. And so that way there's plenty of time to also go and see another show. But I tell you what, if you come and see Get Lucky, that you'll make sure that you start your night with a great laugh. We'll see you there.